What's up, y'all? It's your girl Lex P. And it's your girl Dre and Nicole. And y'all know we wrapping up the tour, so y'all know we had to come home. We had to come home. And you know, we love a good theme. Mm -hmm. We wanted to do a theme so bad for yes. Houston. So we doing a freaking theme yep. for the Houston show. It's going to be so lit, y'all. Yes, November 25th. Doors open at 6 p.m. Show starts at 7 mm -hmm. at House of Blues, y'all. We got Beat King coming through. We got Zero coming through. And I'm telling y'all, it's a lot more people coming through because we home. Yeah. We finna be out of surprise. Five. We have so many mm -hmm. surprises. It's Freak Nick thing. So get your hair done. Put your grills in. Your spray painted t-shirts. Get real ghetto because we finna have a time. Yo. We finna shake some ass <laughs> and turn up. Yes, period. Yo, I best, love it. Yo, best 90s attire. Put that shit on, mm -hmm. period. So we'll see y'all soon, November 25th, House of Blues in Houston. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Lex P. And it's your girl, Dre Nicole. And you are tuned in to another episode of Poor Minds. Where a drunk mind speaks sober thoughts. We got a guest today. We, we got, got a guest today. Yeah, yeah. I am excited. I you know what? Too. Like, I don't... Is this our first male rapper that we've had? We had a, we've had a few. Okay, we've had a few. Had a few. But I feel like this is our first day. Like, we don't like them. <laughs> no, no, no. Okay, well, we got Rob Fonine in the motherfucking building. Yeah. First of all, thank you for coming through. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Like, I'm you really excited. Because let me tell you something. I first uh, found out about you when Vulture Island came out. And when mm -hmm. I tell you, I ran that hoe in the ground. I'm the type of person. You like that song? Oh my god! Are you fucking kidding? I was down bad. No, no, she Make really a music head. Yeah, she really. Okay, is. so let me tell you something about me that I learned. When I like a song, I'm the person I'll replay it over and over again. I can listen to one. I can go on a 30 minute car ride and listen to one song. Mm -hmm. Me too, though. So, did you know that that is that means like you have ADD? Or ADHD? I know I got ADHD. Yeah, so that's a sign of it because it releases some kind of endorphin in you that makes you feel good mm -hmm. and it makes you focus. You really? Was bad in school, huh? Oh, I was bad as shit. I was bad too. I was bad. I was, bad I was too. class clown. Just class clown, yeah. Ooh, I used to be good now. ADHD. You ain't even knew you had ADHD though. You thought you was cool. I just thought I was just a funny nigga. You thought you were funny. No, I was you a, but you really had ADHD. I thought I was in that bitch vibe the whole time, nigga. I'm sick. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga's a fucking lunatic. You need to be on the meds. No, I need to be on fucking meds. Okay, so we are gonna get started with a little icebreaker. Mm -hmm. So the people, well, I got one question. Oh what's lord, the, what's you your question? To class, like, man, I'm gonna chill today and get to class and don't chill. Hell no, I knew I wasn't chilling. Man, I used but to you know, say, man, I'm gonna chill today. I don't want to talk to nobody. I'm over that shit. <laughs> yeah, you class, will be cutting up. Yeah. <laughs> you know what it is though? I think sometimes I do say that. I'd be like, man, Dre, you got it today. Like, I'm not gonna be loud today. I, I like. And the camera start rolling. I just be cutting up. Yeah, it's in me. It ain't on you me. It's in help, me. You can't help it. I can't help it. You can't help it. Another one. Oh, <laughs> now he finished it already. Mind <laughs> you, it's no liquor in there. It's about to get done. But that bitch crazy. <laughs> it's okay, a mocktail. It's a mocktail. But that's all right. Let him get lit. Cause you, how old are you? Twenty four. See. Yeah, baby. I was about it's to answer. Right. You know, I be doing my Googles for you know people coming up. Yeah, I know how old you okay. I seen some shit. I'm 17 or some shit. For real? I'm fucked up about this. Nah, I knew you was 24. Okay, so for the people that's living under a rock <laughs> that don't know who you are, you know, how you give your introduction to let people know exactly um, who you are? My name is Rob for nine. Um, I be making music. Um, you be making good music. Don't do that. Yeah, like. You I be know. making music. Yeah, for sure. Y'all got to go look at my stuff. Rob for nine on all platforms. It's going to be right here at the bottom of your screen. Mm -hmm. It is. Rob 49 up on Thank Instagram, you. on Twitter. Y'all go turn me up, man. Go go check it out yourself. Okay, how long you been rapping? Just about to hit three years. What made you start rapping? Um, my partner was rapping. Mm -hmm. I was just in the studio one day chilling, and he wanted to get some food or something like that. I was telling him the song wasn't that good. He like, man, you make a song while we gone. So he came back to a good song. They like, man, you got to go. 
Okay. So it I'm, wasn't nothing like, I've been doing this shit since I was six. No, no, no. I came out the womb. Bro, rapping. I don't see how niggas do that, dog. I was, I didn't want to be no rapper. I knew I could, I knew I could have some rhymes to yeah. me because my big brother was rapping. I used to be telling him, like, let me write one of your songs. Uh-huh. I just was bullshitting. Though. Like, I ain't never wrote a song in my life, but I knew it, it would have been better than what he was doing. That is Not so better than what crazy. he was doing. Rest in peace of my brother, but I, I just yeah. knew I could give him some lyrics. Like. So yeah. does your friend that actually rap, he low-key be hating? Uh-uh, he still be rapping. Oh, because I would be hating. Best friend. I'm a hater. Yeah, that's my so. best friend. Jeez, she said I'm so a hater. Stupid. No, I've been hating on that nigga. <laughs> no, so I'm his false who that. Okay. So you, I can't even get my question out. She is crazy. But no, so you were about to go to nursing school or you was yeah. already in nursing school? I, I got to stop saying that because people going to think I went to nursing school. I was, you I, had, about I was me. going to pre rec like, okay. you know, you're doing your pre rec like, you mm-hmm. just got, you got regular bio, that shit, brother, like, shit. <laughs> yeah. you got, you're a nurse and major, but I ain't going to this school. I'm going to see that. you on Grey's Anatomy, cutting yes. up. <laughs> but it's funny as hell, I didn't pass no classes. So no, nursing school is hard. See, they say it's hard. To nursing school. And he just said. Oh, that he wasn't I was failing my, my pre Okay. He, yeah. could, he wasn't even qualified. Oh, wasn't yeah. he qualified. He couldn't even answer the phones, bitch. No, for real. I couldn't even wear a jacket. Like. I mean, school hard, period. So how so, were you in school, though? Because you just said, like, were you, like, the funny person? Like, yeah, what did you think yeah. you were doing? In high school, in high school, like, I was, you know they got the coolest niggas in the school. Like, I was top five. Top you two. was that nigga. <laughs> yeah, I was that nigga. I, I see how you walked in. He was and, like, my bad. I'm late, y'all. In <laughs> college, I don't know. I just, it was just me and my niggas. Like, we wasn't trying to do too much. We was just staying to ourselves. Yeah. We was on in there for, like, two, two semesters. The third semester, I, I was rapping already. Mm. I had a little name, so I just dropped out the third semester. I know that's right. That's what I should have did. So what did you think? <laughs> Shut the <laughs> fuck up. <laughs> so what did you think that you were going to do with your life? Like, what were your goals before you, I mean, started rapping? I wanted to play with houses, for real. I'm going to start playing with them now. Okay. Nah. So you wanted to do, like, real estate type yeah, stuff? Yeah, Okay. But like, I don't want to be like, real estate agent or not. I wanted to be, like, a, like come up with the, the flow plan like that and the architect. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, okay. That's interesting. I want to do some swag shit like that. Mm-hmm. I like that, That's though. Because you know what? I think people don't realize how important that is because your home is your sanctuary. Mm-hmm. So if you can really create a space that's like really. That's dope. I like that. I and I feel like the layout that. of homes is really important too. It yeah, is. Yeah, for real. yeah, like I hate closed off spaces. I like need I a like high for ceiling. An open, and I, I don't like, like open floor plan. I don't like the old time look. Like if this house was built ten years ago, it's not for me. It's not yeah. for me. I need a modern. I need a modern. Like I need the marble floors. Yes, need, that's what I need. Like the right. epoxy floors, the shiny yeah, floors, high saying. ceilings, mm-hmm. a lot of windows, a nice ceiling fan. Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay, so let's talk about. Your first hit. Your first hit, well, we can say it was Vulture Island, yeah, right? Yeah, thanks. So talk about how that came about. Um, damn. I made Vulture Island. I had I had was when I, I had signed like a couple months before that, like January, I made Vulture Island probably like October. What year? Twenty twenty one. Okay. Twenty twenty one, yeah. That's crazy. I made mean, October twenty twenty one at um I remember, I remember spending all my money like, and then I had I had um, my lease was up at my at my apartment. I had an apartment in, in Baton Rouge, so I wound up going to stay back with my mama. Mm-hmm. I was staying with my mama again. I'm like, damn, like that shit crazy. Like the money going low, you know? Yeah. What I'm yeah. So then I was just like, fuck it, it is what it is. I'm gonna be remembered like as this. Like I'm just, I was in the hood every day again. Mm-hmm. Like I'm like, fuck it, it is what it is. I remember pulling up to the hood one day. I'm like, man, let's go to the studio. Like, I want everybody to come. I ain't never used to do shit like that. Like, invite everybody to the studio and shit because you know when you leaving out the studio, it's just safe to have it and stuff like that. Yeah, of course. I ain't never used to do that, but then I'm like, fuck it, like, everybody we come. We outside, let's go. Mm-hmm. right? We all went that night. and I made Vaj Island. Like, I know y'all was in that bitch turn, brother. What? I, I know listen, it. Listen, they had a girl in there, right? She. She had a girl and she pulled me to the side after I made the song. Mm-hmm. She like, you got a hit, you got your hit, like, and I, you know, like, I, you know who was crazy, like. <laughs> she <laughs> she like, was trying to get in where she fit in. Nah, she I'm like, what? I'm like, all right, say less. I'm like, thank you. I'm like, thank you. She like, and I walked off. She grabbed me back. She like, no, like, I understand you what you think this is, but I'm telling you, have a hit right oh, now. Oh, yeah. she was like, Let, putting this pussy to the side. Like, all this I was pussy gonna to the sell side. it to like, you regardless. You got, you got a hit though. But I'm it's good. You. She like, you got a hit. 
That should be fucking me up too. So did I you mean, did you believe lying. her though, or you would thought you thought she was just trying to like? I ain't gonna lie. You know, it's funny. So that night we were just outside, outside. We left the studio at like two, three in the morning. Uh huh. I mean, we had went to this bar. I would hold it to the bar. We pumping the song. We know it already. Mm. And then um, I was supposed to drop another song, like a Lil Pain song. Mm-hmm. I called my label. I'm like, man, I won't drop this song instead. They're like, nah, we can't drop it. We're going to save it for the top of the year. I said, man, I'm not dropping nothing if I can't drop this. Talking about Vulture Island. Talking about Vulture okay. Island. Mm-hmm. And they pulled that song. The song was really called Yeet Yeet. I, the day before, like the day or two <laughs> days before that bitch came out, I called. I'm like, man, change the name to Vulture Island. Okay. So what made you want to change the name? Because Yeet Yeet. Nobody not gonna know how to spell it. Yeah. They don't have their own they own, own way of spelling. And it. it would be hard to search it like on Spotify. You see what I'm yeah. So I'm yeah. like, I'm like, I want them to know how to spell these words. Mm-hmm. So they can search the shit up. So I'm like, I search them bigger like that and then that bitch. Are crazy. you still signed to the same label? Yeah. I'm still what label is this? Um Geffen. Okay. Ooh. Geffen and CLIV. How did you sign a Geffen off top though? How did that I, happen? I know, I don't know, dog. You, did you know. even have anything out? You didn't have nothing out. I ain't really had nothing out like that. I had. I was hiding my city. I was the biggest rapper in my city, though. Before I signed. Like, I was rapping for three months. Yeah. Get the, yes. But you acting like you was out here Lily. grinding. No, I believe you. But you act like you was out here grinding for real. He said, I was, three months and you got signed? That's unheard that of. That's amazing. Nah, facts. And then you just... I ain't gonna lie. Like the, the, and I had three... I dropped three, three tapes mm-hmm. in three months. That's my wild. First, my first song I lie. ever dropped... I had took over the city. Like you was in the quick. studio a lot. You was in there three tapes in three dropping months? bombs. Nah, thanks though. So I was, but I was putting out everything I had. Yeah, yeah. That's, That's a lot of tapes in a short. So what does Vulture time Island time. mean? What does that mean? Like, what is the definition of Vulture I Island? I said it in a song. I'm just like in my head when I was making it. I remember thinking of it. I said, um, all my partners was in the um, in the studio, uh-huh. and like I said, we having liquor, girls, and I'm like, damn. It's so you was drinking. This is a whole another island. Yeah. I, I, think I, I think I hit the Cosmigo that night. I know that's <laughs> right. I think I hit the Cosmigo that like night. Like, you'll have a little shot every once in a while. Yeah, every once in a while. <laughs> okay. when, I, when I want to. Yeah. Like, when I'm doing shit like that. But I remember saying, like, damn, she on that island. Like, I'm like, it's Vulture Island. Because we call ourselves Vulture. Yeah. Oh. And I said real chest stuff from Vulture Island. I'm like, damn, that shit a lot. That's crazy. It's a hard name. It is. It is. So uh, how did Lil Baby come about? How did that feature come about? Um. The song, I had I had a show on Christmas. Mm-hmm. I had a concert on Christmas. I had wound up performing the song for the first time. The song came out December 12th. Mm. So the week after for Christmas, we had a show. The whole crowd knew it. That, I mean, it blew up quick. I remember Bro, when I first saw that it. That shit fucked me up. Mm-hmm. It was cr- I, The first time I saw it was when um, <laughs> Regine and what's uh, T.I. daughter name? Zanine. Zanine. Oh, yeah, 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 they had did a video to it. I was like, damn, that song kind of fire. And I listened yeah. to it. I'm like, oh. This whole ride, it's a hit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was it it, oh, it literally hard, hard. spread like wildfire it really is. fucking quick. It is. Damn, huh? in January, January I had went to um January I had went to um I just I th- I went to Baton Rouge. I had a show mm-hmm. and it went crazy. <laughs> Damn, that's crazy. Oh, we we do that. We, <laughs> we be doing that the whole see. show. But then I had um, I had a show in January. That bitch went crazy. I'm like, um, and I posted a video to both of them. I seen P had um hit me and I seen him posting my shit. Who's P? QCP. Oh, QCP. Yeah. Uh, P posted my shit, so I um I just was hitting him up and shit. I wind up coming out here, and we went to the script club and shit. He like, I want to work with you. Okay. So we wind up just. Talking, talking, talking. Then he's like, who you want on your remix? I'm like, baby, like. Yeah, baby, facts. Baby, hottest nigga out right now. Yeah. Just, I mean, he is, I really yeah. just threw it. I really just threw it out there and just was like, man, you might well just throw that. Throw that I'm saying, but, but I love that you. But you know, that's the thing. You got to yeah. aim for the stars. I just aim for the stars. Yeah. I, I just knew this nigga wasn't going to do it. That nigga yeah. sent me this verse back the next day. Man, I mean, that's fire. I mean, because it was a hot song. It's a that hot song. That shit fucked me up, though. Yeah. So I was going to ask you, too, because you said you was like the hottest rapper in your city at the time. How do you feel about putting New Orleans back on the map? Because, I mean, obviously, we all know New Orleans had a lot of hot rappers yeah. that have came out over the years. Legendary. Like legendary rappers. But I do feel like right now, it's not that many that are making, like, a lot of noise, you know? So how do you feel about putting New Orleans back on the map? Um, I don't know. I like it. Yeah. yeah I like it. 
I, I don't feel like I'm putting the water back on the map, though. Well, mm-hmm. I, I know I am, but it's like, yeah. I don't be trying to think like that. Yeah, you know it's, what I'm saying? it's a lot of pressure, though. Yeah. It's a lot of pressure. Yeah. And I don't want to do that. Yeah. Then you, you know, niggas, niggas, oh, yeah, I run my city. I, I try not to say that shit no more and everything. Like, just because, like, I don't want to be this nigga, like, Oh yeah, yeah, and then you, and then the shit don't go right. And mm-hmm. you, like, but you can't think no like that, though. You can't know, think like that. You gotta speak know. stuff into existence. Right. That's just how I be thinking. Yeah. Though. So talk about getting Double XL freshman, the new artist, because that's a big fucking deal. Like this is stuff that J Cole got, Wale got, Drake got. Like a lot of people, Nicki Minaj. Like it's a lot of people that did that. Mm-hmm. Um. I ain't gonna lie, that's the only thing I wanted for this year. Mm-hmm. So everything else that came this year was just a plus. Like, mm-hmm. that's like the biggest shit for me this year. Who did you meet that was on there with you that you was like, oh shit, I'm with you? Like, and you was like, okay, I'm like doing something. Nobody. <laughs> oh, I know that's my right. period. I know that's Nobody. right. Not on those, I don't know shit like that. I just Nobody, don't give a fuck yeah. about no, it. Yeah. Like, yeah. So it hasn't been a moment where you like met somebody or you were in a room and you were like, okay, like I'm kind of a big deal. I ain't lying. I wasn't, I was, I ain't gonna lie, I, I, I did some Future was in the studio, I was like, Future's my favorite rapper, he's been my favorite rapper since like forever. I mean, mm-hmm. you toxic. I don't know, but <laughs> <laughs> I was just sitting, it wasn't, it wasn't no, it wasn't even no real thing. Mm-hmm. I went in the studio with Dirk, and it was just me and him and that, I'm looking, I'm like, damn. What is Dirk, bro? Yeah. yeah. What the fuck, brother? I, Dirk, my brother, favorite rapper, so he ended up with me too. I'm just looking, I'm looking at him, I'm looking at him. I ain't even saying nothing. I'm just looking weird at that motherfucker for real. Mm-hmm. Like, was like, Damn, this really little dirt. Like, you really didn't, you made it like. Like you doing something. Yeah. Like you like, okay, something. I'm shaking a little bit. Okay, so I want to talk about this because um, Dre is from Houston originally. I lived in Houston for 10 I'm years. Yeah, I'm from Houston. Yeah, I'm from Houston. Oh, I'm, from Houston. Oh, I'm a country yeah. girl. I'm from Orange. And so. I actually have family from New Orleans. When, when the last time you went to Houston? Literally, like two weeks ago, I went you to a Beyonce loop, concert. Yeah, you in a loop. Yo, I'm going in the morning. I go all the time. We both do. Literally, I was la- there last week. Bro, I think going- I run Houston. I ain't gonna lie to you. Really? Man. You ain't Houston a lot? I run Houston. You run Houston? Where you be at then on Sundays? This is a quiz. <laughs> this is a trick question. Where I be at every day? Where you be at on Sundays <laughs> on Houston? This is a quiz. Every time, man. I'll be oh, okay, okay, okay. You, okay. you, 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 pass, you, pass. you be outside. You be outside. Lost there. and found. Lost oh, and Okay, you be Turkey outside. Leg hut. Oh, okay. okay, you No, I'm talking about, I run this bitch. Lotus. Not Lotus. Lotus. Oh, he got a little hood spot. You really I'm be in there. I be sitting in there. his bag, for real. I be sitting in there by myself. Okay, so I want to talk about how that collab came along with you and Libra. That, um, that club, cause that was a fire song. Nah, yeah, nah. Barreline was managing her. Barreline was my manager at the time. Oh, okay. And and she um she played a song in the studio. She like, man, this the vibe right here. I'm like, put it on. You know, mm-hmm. I'm I'm supporting anything Barreline do. So mm-hmm. I just I'm just like, put it on. I did it. And then I met Libra, and she was just a good person. I just fucked with her a long way. So yeah, yeah, yeah it was a fire song. It came on literally when I was in the gym one day, and I'm like. Hold I did yeah. not think I did not think that was gonna do that, boy. That bitch did that, boy. Yeah, that bitch was low key a hit, like mm-hmm. for facts. I'm High telling key. you, it came on randomly one time when I was working out in the gym. And I'm like, hold on, wait a little minute. Yeah, Man, that that's why I hit. gotta work out by myself. I start busting a little twerk on that. <laughs> you know that's what I'm saying? Funny as hell, bro. So listen, what artists haven't you worked with that you want to work with? Like that's next on your list, and you know you coming for it. Like I got the get weekend. That. That's mm. it. Ooh. That'll be a fire okay. collab. I like that. Yeah, I, I can see that. Because I really love like R&B and, ma- and rap songs. Can together. you sing yeah. a little bit? Yeah, yeah. I got Ooh, some shit. Now she got a little voice. The girls going to love that. <laughs> now they going to fuck with that shit. I got some shit coming out um, on my next shit. You better like, be singing to the world. Yeah, I'm singing. Fuck it. It is what it is. I mean, I feel <laughs> like though, a, a lot of... We're going to talk about that a little later on one of the topics. Yeah. About, you know... But so, before... This episode is sponsored by Bitter Hill. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, XP. And it's your girl, Dre and Nicole. And we are here to talk to y'all about BetterHelp.com. Y'all, it is holiday season. And y'all know we talk about seasonal depression so much. I think everybody knows, you know, we've both lost, lost our parents. Mm-hmm. And I feel like holiday season is very hard, especially, you know, with 
dealing with grief and loss. So when I tell you betterhelp.com has tremendously helped me. So if you've thought about therapy, this is your time to start. Absolutely. This is your sign. I for sure, um, I actually started going to therapy when my dad passed away mm -hmm. to help me deal with the grief. And it has helped me so much over the years with that. And then a lot of other, other things that I have going on. Like sometimes I just be getting stressed out. Mm -hmm. I just be feeling overwhelmed. And I love that I can call my counselor at any time and set up an appointment with her easily and talk to her whenever I need to. And I can access her from anywhere that I'm at. If I'm at home, I could, you know, talk to her on my laptop. If I'm in the car, I can call her from my phone. Mm -hmm. And that's the best thing about it. It's at your convenience. Yep. So if you want to do a phone call, text message, video call, mm -hmm. they make all of that available to you. And if you don't like your therapist, they make it super easy for you to change. Yep. So what you're going to do is go to betterhelp.com. That's better H E L P.com backslash poor minds. And you're going to get 10% off of your first month for free. Wait, yes. I didn't say that right. So you're going to go to betterhelp.com. That's better. H-E-L-P.com backslash poor minds. And you're going to get 10% off of your first month. Yes. Super easy, super affordable. Get you some better help. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Lex P. And it's your girl, Dre and Nicole. And we are in holiday season. And one thing I cannot stand is how packed the grocery stores get in holiday season. Yeah, it's real bad. And who wants to be at the grocery store during the holiday season? You're trying to spend time with your family. Mm -hmm. You're trying to spend time with your friends. Nobody has time to be standing in line. So what I love about HelloFresh is they deliver pre-portioned ingredients right to your doorstep. Yes, everything is already ready to go straight to your door. So as soon as you open that, that box you can get to cooking mm -hmm. period you and that's what I, you need yes and not only do they have the dinners because i think everybody thinks hello fresh is like it's just dinners mm -hmm. so you get breakfast quick lunches snacks all that good stuff yep and since we've partnered with them we gonna hook y'all up with some free breakfast for life for life. For life. That's a long time. That's a long time if you're eating Hello Fresh. Because mm -hmm. it's fresh, you're going to live for a long yeah, time. You know what I'm saying? So, what you're going to do is go to HelloFresh.com backslash Poor Minds Free and use code Poor Minds Free for free breakfast. So, you're going to get one breakfast item per subscription box, okay? So, as long as you're ordering your boxes, you're going to get a free breakfast. I don't know about you, but I love breakfast. I like breakfast, too, and I like it more when it's free. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, go to HelloFresh.com, Poor Minds Free. Get your eat on. Period. We get into the topic. Yes. We need to know what we drinking today, Ty. Because I'm cutting up. Because this is good, and I'm almost done. I need another one. Mm -hmm. I know, that shit good. And he drunk, already drunk his. He popped it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> With the real stuff in it. So it's getting close to spooky season out there. It's getting cold. We in the house a little bit more. So this one is called Black and Boozy. Okay, like B-O-O. -O. Z, you see what I'm doing? I like it. <laughs> so we have a tequila for you, Drea, and then vodka for you, Lex. In this one, we have some Grand Marnier. We have some lime juice and some pomegranate juice. Now that's back in season. And then we added a little bit of that So Mixy Cinnamon Demerara Syrup to it. Shook it up, and then what we added to it to give it this black color mm -hmm. is activated charcoal. So oh, it's which is actually good, good for your good. yeah, it's good for your gut health. So I know we're always thinking about our health as we're drinking. So that's what's called the black and boozy. And then for <laughs> <laughs> I mean it's all connected. You right. He, he right. is right. He is right. right. And his just has everything minus the alcohol. So no Grand Marnier, no tequila or vodka. He has the pomegranate juice, the lime juice, and the cinnamon demerara. Plus the added charcoal. No, you know, Casamigo. <laughs> And also make sure y'all get y'all's LS liqueur. Yes. I'm telling y'all, it is getting cold outside. This is something that you need to have in your home. You can eat, uh, not eat it. You can drink it warm. I mean, you can eat it too, though. You can make some popsicles. I say this all the time. You I mean, do it's getting say that. cold outside, so mm -hmm. you might not want to make no popsicles. Right. But you can use it for so many fall drinks. Like, you can add it to your hot cocoa. You can add it to your coffee. It's so good, y'all. And y'all know right now we're also doing the LS Challenge. Mm -hmm. You can win $5,000. All you got to do is make a good drink. $5,000? Make a good Who drink. Who don't need $5,000? Exactly. Make a good drink. Post the tag. I'm still trying to figure out how I can do it from my burner account, bitch. Period. <laughs> Me too. It was a little five right. Right. <laughs> okay, so we're going to get into this first topic today. I'm so <laughs> glad that we're talking about this with you because I didn't realize, like, I knew you had, I don't want to say popped out of nowhere because at the end of the day, you still have to work, but yeah. your journey came pretty quickly. Mm -hmm. 
I want to talk about, is it possible to become popular or get on organically still? Because no, I feel it like... Really is, though. It is? Yeah, you think does. so? So, whenever you decided to start rapping, like you got in the studio that night, and you released that song or whatever it was, you didn't pay no... I didn't even know how to do that shit. No, no, nobody Bro, I didn't even know how to do it. Nothing. Oh my God. I was dead broke into it. We can't do that anyway. <laughs> what are you talking about? Oh, you God. said, hey, a blog. I ain't know how to do nothing. So how did it, like, what did you do? The song was just hard. I already mm-hmm. had a name in the city. Like I told you, I was one of them niggas. Oh, so you, was, you wasn't no regular nigga. I wasn't no regular nigga. I'm, yeah. You, you, Not I'm him. Man, wasn't cool in high school. You knew me in high school, though, right? He was him. All I right, he him. got... He got he got somebody to vouch for him. I had a chat. I'm selling Ooh. weed. Like I would pop when they like. Yeah. I still draw yeah, my little school. challenge. Hey, yeah, I, I feel you. you. Okay, so the people was listening to the songs. They was like, oh, okay, this this some Rob. This like, let me listen to it. Like they just like, yeah, Rob making music. You know they be like, yeah, Rob making music. Like what Rob? I'm the Rob. They really want him making music. Yeah. Oh, Rob. I don't know. Oh, Rob making. Man, let me hear that shit. Like, yeah. So you feel like it was just word of mouth. So, I mean, that is organic. That yeah. is organic. I'm not going to lie to you. I feel like... I mean, I feel like we grew organically. My nigga, I ain't going to lie. I'm going to give him a shout out, dog. Because real nigga is my heart. LP, man. I ain't lying. He was pushing that shit harder than me, my brother. He He's a DJ or... That's nah, dope. He, he, played for, he was playing for the Knicks. Um, oh. Lamar Peters. He was playing for the Knicks. And he used to be going to the club and shit like... Man, play my brother shit. Like, he gonna be the next nigga. Like, yeah, hell yeah. That's, that's so a big dope deal. to have friends like that, though. That's my yeah. real heart. I ain't gonna, I called him the other day. I'm like, dog, thank you, brother. You, yeah. you kept my confidence up. Yeah, like, for sure. Time. For sure. Cause I feel like, honestly, I'm not gonna lie to you. I feel like we came up organically, we did. but it didn't happen no three months. Well, no. I mean, I think different things happen for different people at different times, but I definitely feel like our show grew organically. Like, we definitely. You know, it was word of mouth. Yeah. Like, the show got more popular and people started paying more attention because the clips started going viral. Yeah. But I'm not going to lie to you. I feel like... And we never paid for the clips. You know, I do think that these days that is a thing and, you know, algorithms and all of that stuff has Mm -hmm. changed on social media. And so, these days, it's harder to be visible. Mm -hmm. And I think you do have to pay to be seen, unfortunately. But... I think that you can still grow organically. I'm though. sorry. I feel like in 2023, right now, if somebody is trying to rap mm-hmm. and just pick up a and mic, I was in quarantine, though. I was in quarantine. Exactly. So. We that's started popping in quarantine online. too. Yeah, that is and when I'm we not started. saying that. Yeah. Like, no, I'm saying no. That's part of the, that's part of why y'all got naturally the views. But, yeah. But now it's like that shit dead. I'm telling you, it's yeah. dead now. Y'all both think it's dead now. <laughs> I'm, Y'all don't think somebody could just come out right now no. and get a whole bunch of views without nope. having to pay for it? Nigga, uh, they got no. the biggest really? niggas out there paying for views. You say you got what? I said they got the biggest niggas out there paying for views. Yeah. yeah. It's crazy. You know how I can tell somebody paying for views is like, you know, I always, I'm a music head. Yeah. I like to go on YouTube and just be, I'll deep dive in. I'll just be looking up random people's stuff. Mm-hmm. And I'll just come across somebody random, never seen them, never heard of them. It'll have like a million views and like three comments. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's how that's how it should be on. It be Instagram like that on Instagram too. I, I ain't like when I go on, when that. I go on YouTube now and I look at niggas like like if I look at any like popping nigga right now mm-hmm. and I see all right they got a million on this video they got three million on this video got four million on this video like if I don't see your shit if some of your shit not in them we got six hundred thousand on this one mm-hmm. yes we got a hundred thousand on this one yep. if they're not doing that then this shit fake like ain't no way you got millions on all on them. every you're not single even, you're not one you're not even it like that like yeah yeah I'm I wonder why you. people do that though because to me I just feel like okay you paying for these views and stuff but is it just so people can think that you're getting them because That's stupid it, but yeah. no but let me a nigga tell like you why a Cinderella story everybody like a Cinderella story but right. let me tell you why and this is something people I like noticed I noticed myself that I do. When I'm scrolling TikTok mm-hmm. and I see a video that doesn't have a lot of views, I keep scrolling. Oh, if it has a lot of views, I'm be like, why is everybody looking at this? So yeah. if something has 5 million views, you're more than likely to mm-hmm. stop and look at it yeah. versus something that has no views. Because yeah. it's like, if nobody else is interested in it, why am I going to look at it? You know what I'm saying? I, I mean, that's a valid saying. point. It, but I'm I a different type is. nigga, though. I, I don't give a fuck what it is. If the shit funny or something, I be following people with like 10 followers. Oh, yeah. I'm if the same got, way. If they doing content and I be laughing at their content, bro, I, would fo- I don't give a fuck. Yeah. Me too. I, I don't I care really, about the followers. Yeah, I don't really care. 
Yeah, no, I'm not saying like, fault, but I'm saying for the masses, most of the time, if you don't have a lot of views or something, people aren't, or they need a cosign. Mm -hmm. They need, oh, Rob Ford, yeah. they, they, he followed them, so they must be funny. Let me follow. Oh, mm -hmm. poor mind said this lit. Let me mm -hmm. go watch him. It's mm -hmm. like, people really like that validation. It's all about validation. That's mm -hmm. all that it is. It is, but I just also think that like, just work harder. No, that's not the case either. I mean, no, just work harder. Like, literally, paying for I views. Like got hard music paying for views go. is not gonna get you more money. It's just gonna show, it's just gonna look like you have more views on right. your page, but it's not, you're not monetizing that into anything. I mean, we it's talk not doing about nothing this. for you, but making you, I guess, quote unquote, look cool you to people. You can pay it off you, reels? Hmm? Yeah, you can. No, you used to. Oh, you used to. They did stop it. They, they, they cut my little cheek. Yeah. I needed my little $80. I think people was making too much money on Instagram. They weren't fucking with it. Honestly, I'm not going to lie. I'm being dramatic, but I had one video. It got like probably, I want to say maybe like six, seven, hundred thousand views. Mm -hmm. And my check off of it was like almost $200. It wasn't nothing. It wasn't, yeah. Damn. No, they be tripping. That's why when they took it Fuck away. All that, nigga, that's good money, nigga. I mean, but they cut nah, it off. See, I, I thought she was about to be shit. like, they hoeing you. Because nah. I thought we was. Oh, no, that's good money. <laughs> I'll get seven seven hundred thousand on some bullshit, like. Yeah. So that mean I could get two hundred dollars on some bullshit. I mean, you yeah, could, I mean, I was, I was. They, yeah. Why they stop this shit? Because I feel like they was hating, like niggas was making. Man, too niggas much was. Money they didn't that think. Shit. They didn't think they didn't that think somebody go that, crazy. that only had because I only have like two hundred eighty thousand followers. So mm. they didn't think somebody with this amount of followers. Mm. Mm. We Don't post shit reach. sometimes to get a million. Yeah. It be going viral. Like a lot of our clips be going viral. So. Imagine this account times four or five hundred thousand people that we end up going four viral. Or five clips a week. Man, they not trying to pay all that money. You know, out. you know, you know what what the lamest thing Instagram ever did in their life. What they changed the the views and and moved them to the real side, and they got the views instead of having the views and then the liked by one person. Oh yeah, you know what I'm talking about? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Because yeah, yeah. yeah. now they be say, all right, you got. 100,000 likes on this on this video you just posted. Right. But in reality, I got 3 million views on yeah. this bitch. And if that bitch would have, and, and, and when I was coming up, if that bitch said 3 million views. It's going to make, yeah, it's going to. Boy, yeah. you the hottest nigga out right now. Like, yeah. That's but, it. That's it. Stunt, like, you the hottest nigga out. But I think out. they do that on purpose because they want, they don't want people to grow organically anymore. They want you to pay. They want you to pay that's them. That's crazy. Because you can pay that's Instagram smart, now. It's but, smart as fuck, though. It's smart, though. And they're trying to compete with TikTok. They're trying to compete with TikTok. That too. But what they don't realize is they're just making it hard for people that are actually good at creating to create. Mm -hmm. Because now you have these people who are dropping music, dropping content, and dropping things that are just for shock value. And it's not people who are, who are actual creatives. Mm -hmm. So do you feel like, though, people feel like maybe you're not a quote-unquote real rapper? Who, me? Yeah. Do you feel like people kind of maybe feel that way about you because you've only been rapping for three years? Oh, fuck, how do you feel? I don't want to be a rapper, <laughs> honestly. Really? I really feel like in two, three years, I'm going to stop rapping. Really? I'm going to do the houses, like I told you. That's mm. what I really want to like, do. That's like, what you really want to do. That's what you really want to do. I want a family. I know that's in two, three years? Two, Because you're only years. 24. I want to be young. I want to be the old dad. Oh, that's a good topic, Girl, go. We don't have that written down, but that was something that I seen earlier, and I kind of wanted to talk about that. Do you think it's a right and wrong age to have kids? Because we're both in our 30s. I'm not, 32, not, not really, and she's 34. I, not really, but I, I want to I wanna care when I'm young. Like, you want, yeah. I want, I want my, my baby mama to go to school, and nigga be like, boy, your mama fine as a motherfucker. Like, and he got to fight. Like, You see what I'm saying? Like, I don't want that. I don't want to be like, man, your mama old ass, boy. Your mama was six years old. Like. But I feel like you could be 40 years old and still look good. Like, it's women who be 40 and they look good as fuck. Y'all just got lucky. We First ain't 40. <laughs> I'm nah, 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 I'm just saying y'all just older. I'm not nephew. Don't do auntie <laughs> like that, nah. Nah, I'm saying y'all just, just got y'all just a little older. We're guys, like, but you feel like you don't see you don't normally see women that are 32, 34, and they still look good. Hell yeah, nah, man, I'm good. beat up. She said, "Hold up, don't play with me." Exactly. Hello, y'all. Y'all look good, like. And you, you oh, do. Yeah. You, you are beautiful. I ain't lying. The girls, I'm I, sorry, okay, I ain't lying. Period. The girls, I be around. She looks like, great. Like you, like holding up, like man, they popping it. I ain't gonna cap like. <laughs> What you mean? The, like the older women be popping it for you? Here she go. He said, I'm just wondering. <laughs> she just misses screw my words. Uh -oh. <laughs> she just made my sister something totally different than whatever. I had to get to it. Now she gonna be messy. She gonna I be messy. I had to get to it. No, no, no. I'm just saying. 
Y'all look good. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> so, but let me ask you this, <laughs> Let me ask you this, though. Do you date older women or do you prefer to date women yeah, your for age? Sure. You prefer older women? I, I don't... I really... <laughs> I talk to other chick like if if I wasn't single, I mean if I was single. Right, got you. Okay, okay. I like that because that leads into the next topic, though. <laughs> it do, it do. <laughs> oh, you single? So stupid. For, ass. No, no, no. That's not, <laughs> that's not the next topic. <laughs> no, that ain't shit, bro. <laughs> that's it. All right, no, go ahead. Stop get your me. get your rocks up. Oh. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, XP. And it's your girl, Dre and Nicole. And y'all know we are always talking about financial literacy and getting your life together. And the most important thing is having good credit. Yes, you have to have your credit together. So that's why we love Chime. Because even if you have no credit or you have a low credit score, Chime can help you build it up yes. by using the secured Visa Credit Builder credit card. Yes, and I'm telling y'all, look, I had to do it. Mm -hmm. Everybody think because you're making a little money, you your credit matters, okay? It does. So I got my Chime card and that thing just started climbing on up. Yeah, because you can use it. It's no, number one, it's no annual fees. Mm -hmm. But then you can also use it just like you would use any other credit card, but you get to use your own money. Yes, and that's what I love about it. And also, if you have direct deposit, you know, you can get your money sooner. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So if you usually get paid on a Friday, you could get paid on a Wednesday. Mm -hmm. Who don't want to get paid earlier? So what you're going to do is you're going to go to Chime.com backslash Poor Minds, that's C-H-I-M-E dot com backslash Poor Minds. I'm telling you, y'all, credit is so important. Get it together. So whether you have no credit or bad credit, this is going to be for you. Period. I'm with. <laughs> <laughs> so for this topic, we wanted to talk about, do you feel like relationships in recent times, like it's harder to stay committed? Like it's more, everything is more casual these days instead of like, you know, being able to be in a committed relationship? Honestly, yeah. Mm. Just because like, that's why I got lucky like I met a chick I really fuck with because mm -hmm. if I would have met a chick like right now, that shit dead. Like I'd never have a wife in my life. Mm. Really? I swear to God, if, if I ever stop talking to this one chick I'm talking to right now, I ain't gonna, boy, I'm talking about the future ain't gonna have nothing on me. Because <laughs> you feel like there's so many women throwing it at you right now? Not even that, bro. I wouldn't even give a fuck. Like, I wouldn't even think about a girl. Like, right. I done it. I probably wouldn't even be having sex. So I'd probably just fuck with her mind and just leave. Like, yeah. yeah. I, I mean, because be you never know what people, especially in his position, I'm not saying that it's right or it's okay, but I like to look at things from both you know, size, because you have to realize everybody has a motive, especially when you're in the position that you're in. So somebody can really act like they for you, but they really just out to get you. Yeah. And sure. everybody like that. Yeah. No, everybody in this world, like. For sure. Even friends. You know what it's about, though? It's about who you let use you. Mm. Like yeah. Everybody won't use you. It's about who you let. Like, I agree with I that. I let the people use me who was here with me from the start. Like, right. I don't care, like. You can use me right. because you show me loyalty when I have nothing. So mm -hmm. even if it is fake, at least you getting repaid from that. Like, right, right, yeah. right. So do you feel like, okay, so your situation that you're in now, between the time you met her and you made it official, how long was that time? Because I feel like black men have a 19. problem with commitment. Oh, 19. It so was 19. Oh, so, so y'all been knowing each other for a while. It's so quick. Man. Yeah. Probably so like, how long were y'all like talking before you was like, okay, this is official, you my girl? It really ain't need to get the... She did that. <laughs> Period, queen. She's just like, yeah. I you mind. Locking you down. She told me, she like, man, because every nigga that I had fucked with before that, you nigga used to be falling in love. Like, and you ain't falling in love. I'm like, what the fuck? Like, mm. she really told me. I was like, we're worried. And then she like, man, I'm fucking with you. Like, that's it, what it is. Yeah. Because I do feel like sometimes it'll be like, you... <laughs> Talk to somebody. Mm -hmm. Y'all meet. Y'all go on a date, whatever. Y'all like, okay, I'm rocking with this person. But then you look up, it's a year later, and y'all really like each other. Y'all be getting mad at this, mad at that, Not but there's fake. no commitment there. Mm -hmm. For some reason, we are so scared of boyfriend, girlfriend, or any kind of commitment. I think that's so weird. I'm, and it's only in our community. You know what's funny, though? I remember, like, <laughs> I remember a girl post me on Twitter or something mm -hmm. like that. I told her I told her this. I told her this. I'm like, man, I wasn't fucking with that. You was tripping. She like, I thought you were my nigga. Like, I'm like, yeah, nah, I nah. thought you was my <laughs> man. I'm like, yeah, nah. Oh, I told no. her that. She funny as hell. Though. So she how, long, how long 
long had y'all been like bro, that dating? Shit, that shit wasn't even that long, but that shit was probably like a couple weeks. Like. Yeah. Okay. Well, she was tripping a couple weeks. She, you she all. posed me on. I was, I'm like, what the fuck? Like, hell no, nah, don't do that. So, do you feel like you're an honest person though? Like when you're dating people. What you mean? Like. Because sometimes I feel like men will lead you on, though. They'll make it seem like, oh, we going to be this, we going to be X, Y, Z, and you have no intention of ever, you know, being in a relationship. Or they just want you around, but... I think sometimes yeah, niggas say that, and bro. that's how they be. Yeah. Because I'm going to tell you, niggas are falling in love with a girl who they know they can't be with. Like, yes. You know? Like, he like... <laughs> like, <laughs> you were falling in love with a girl, no, I can't be there. Like, if I got a girl, like... Next question. <laughs> but uh, you can't do that. You gotta finish your thought. No. He... Well, you gotta finish your thought. Man, that shit over, man. He don't want to. He don't, don't want the niggas to be mad at him. He can't be spilling nah, all they tea. You gotta spill yeah. the tea now. Yeah, man. I be feel like it's certain shit niggas feel like we just not supposed to know. Yeah, I'm about to say, man. I'm about to get us sauce, man. Yeah, <laughs> That's why we should have put a little Cosmigo in we that drink. We should have put the little and that Capri Sun. Oh, we probably got some money, man. <laughs> But like no, that. I feel like we live in like a popcorn reality these days where like everybody just wants wants things to be instant. Mm -hmm. And I feel like we are on social media, so you always feel like I don't even think these people are afraid of commitment. I just think that people feel like they have so many options. Mm. Because as soon as this person yeah. piss you off, you can go find the next bitch. My people be a up, click man. away. You gotta think about it. If you was 24 back in 94. It would have been way harder for you to find girls in Atlanta. Uh, you would have had to come to Atlanta to find them. You would have had to go to New York or DC mm -hmm. to find them. I was now with my brother. Right. I, yesterday I was telling him, I'm like, bro, I think I think the phones really fucked us up. Yeah. Like, for sex and everything, like, you would look at porn and be like, man, it's crazy. Mm -hmm. And then we were going to bed and was like, expect that from your girl. Porn, like, yep. but it ain't porn. Now you unturned on. Like, you're not turned on. Like, I'm like, damn, like, Everything, like, with the whole world, like, yeah. you know, that should have had you fucked up. Because even with porn, they're acting. Like, you don't know how many takes it took to get that shot Not for this. Not took four times for the cum I'm just shot. saying, you never know how many this takes it took to get the right angle and all that shit because it's a movie. <laughs> mm -hmm. But then niggas get in the bedroom and they want they girl to turn up and be like a porn star. He right. Nah, and I'm old, baby. Auntie knees hurt. <laughs> I ain't doing too much now, boy. Fuck you. Funny I'm just that. saying, Jeez. don't be watching. Look, shout out to Miss B Nasty. Don't be watching Miss B Nasty. Think you finna Man, come and let's be big. Any of that finna show. go on. Y'all had B Nasty Hell yeah. And you know what's crazy? Yeah. I was here last week. She is she, so yeah. sweet and she was shy. Mm -hmm. She was shy. I said, girl, how dare you be showing that be booty hole? Gotta be. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She was She's real. <laughs> 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 I don't know what the face is over there shaking his head. But no, I do feel like, back to the topic at hand, I do feel like you're right. Um, People do feel like, oh, it's easier because if this don't work out, I can, I can just get on else. Instagram or I can just get on Twitter or yeah. whatever app. But this is what I... And this, you said that it's only our community. I disagree. No, I'm saying as far as everybody. commitment. No, commitment. I disagree. I feel like everybody feel like social media is everybody. a part of everyone's world these days. Every nationality. Well, no, everybody. I guess I, the reason I say that is because I, I'm not comparing, so y'all don't get offended by this. But literally 90% of my friends, you know, I went to an all-white high school. 90% of my white friends, they are they are married now. They say all-white. What the hell? I went to all-white high school <laughs> growing did. up. Predominantly white. They say all-white. It you was all... White. No, no. I had uh, two people was that was no in my class that actually walked with me. It was this three black. of us. That was black, yes. It was all-white, literally. Mm. Like, I'm not, I'm not being like... It wasn't predominantly. It was... White. Oh, white. Yes, literally. Yeah. That's crazy. I know you hated it. Not really. I liked it. Why I'm just like kidding. It? That's all I knew. She though. went through her emo but, phase. I went through my emo phase. Sweet, I had sweet. piercings. I, I went. I had a phase. Okay. We're not gonna get into this, Mister. Four. Turn and die. Turn and die. <laughs> That was you really you trying to, you trying to be funny, but that was really hard. Stupid ass girl. That was really hard. I'm hurt. Yeah. I don't think you trust. No. That's a real song. Huh? Okay, sorry. Whenever Javi edit this shit, he gotta find that fucking picture of you in. Oh, let me show you. Okay, I'm gonna show. No, she has to show you the picture. I can't believe you even said that just now. So let me show you my emo picture. Let me show. So I need you to understand. 
Look. It was serious. You tore the fuck up. Let me see the ball. Harvey got I'm it. Look at this shit, bro. I fucking win. <laughs> And why did you just have that photo readily no, because available? Liz, like my homegirl Liz just sent it to me. She was like, I found your emo picture. Because you remember you asked to see it because I you did. wanted to send it to Rich. Yes. Now see? Y'all, what's that guy's name? He does the rocks music. He's like, nigga! Oh, tonight will be the <laughs> night that I will fall for you. <laughs> I can't think of his name. Mario something. Liz, yeah. That's me. That's her. I ha you, but I got them inches, though. <laughs> I got yeah. them inches, though. Stop playing with her. Hair was real long. Man, that's crazy. <laughs> that's her. Baby. Period. That's crazy. Them white people had Damn, you in a chokehold. Oh, that's funny as hell. I have not lived a life. But it's so funny because she's so pro-black I now. am. No, I don't play that but shit. But she used to only have white friends. I am so... So you don't have white boyfriends and shit? I did in high school. So Her first boyfriend. you never been with a black nigga? I dated... I started dating like black guys like once I got to college. Over with. Oh, wow. Ain't <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 turn back to hey, I ain't seen a white... Every time I see a white man, get away, cracker. <laughs> yeah. Get out of this vicinity, <laughs> pal. <laughs> this is for colors <laughs> only. This is up. a colors only poo nanny. Man, niggas that come around and fuck everything up. Bro. Oh, they fucked my <laughs> life up. I should have stayed with, with Steven and Kyle. For real. And Carlton. Mm -hmm. I was living a good life over there. Nah, they because Deontay be having Niggas ain't cheating in there. Oh, well, they was cheating now. Dante, they was cheating. But I, I do feel like they. it was easier. They they are okay with committing. Like, they they want the marriage. They want, like, for a black man, I feel like to commit sometimes, it's like, you got to go through hell and high water. Yeah. You got to prove yourself. You got to do X, Y, Z. But you don't think that's men, period. I think that's men. I don't know. I just said, I don't know. Maybe mm -hmm. you are right, but just from... I think we'll never know because we'll never know life from that standpoint of not being black women. <laughs> right, exactly. Man, man, and fuck our life up. Man. <laughs> D-man. <laughs> she met D-man. Look, now... <laughs> down too bad maybe if I put my piercings back in my life will change niggas will stop trying to talk to you my love <laughs> like man that girl is crazy I done lived a life and you know what's crazy after this I had moved to Houston I was working at the strip club then I had my stripper era yeah you yeah, had the stripper era oh I used to be in Dallas shaking that I was popping that pussy I think, so I think everybody hard. had a stripper era like, yes you had a stripper era? No, I never danced before, but I did used to work in a strip club. Bro, I, I used to bartend and stuff. Mm -hmm. I feel like if you ain't working in a club, like coming up like a girl, like yeah. you ain't had no life. You, yeah, yeah, you weren't you weren't really living. I but used we, to that's where we met. We and met in I the used club. To waitress, yep. We met the strip club in Houston. I don't want no girl who was in a club, but damn, I feel you like street. Man, listen. I um, thought we was bonding. Nah, nah, nah. Sex. I, I thought we was having sex. <laughs> he nah, said, yeah. <laughs> Fuck that. Not for me. <laughs> nah, I love a girl who in a club. Like, like you got for a fun. good spirit. Like, yeah. Right. But, but I'm not My girl, lie. boy, my girl can't go to nothing, boy. Nothing. She can't go? She going with security. She got the truck outside. Like, oh, what is? I mean, no, but yeah, she can go. You just want to make sure she protects. She's not even that. Like, you, boy, it's my <laughs> security, boy. You strict? You know he coming right to me. Like, you better shut it up. Like, ain't none of that. So you strict, you a strict nigga? I just, I don't know. I know these niggas play all type of games out here. Mm. Yeah. But I will say, because a lot of men will probably want to just fuck with her because they know that's your that's girl. Mm -hmm. So they going to try extra hard, try to pull out. Nigga be bitch and anything. Like, mm -hmm. oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, follow you straight home. Like, niggas you know what? Yeah. Somebody told me that, though, recently. I forgot who I was having a conversation with, but they was like, the easiest way to get to a nigga, it's like, a as a man, a nigga that you don't like, is through a woman. Facts. Because men going to fall for a woman. They going to fall for some pussy every mm -hmm. time. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. not, not every that's nigga. That's that's a, I mean, but most niggas, yeah. But that's why you got to make sure you got somebody solid. Like, mm -hmm. I truly believe, like, whenever I'm, like, in my relationship. Ain't no girl solid. Don't mm -hmm. do that. No. You no don't girl on this plan, every solid. Mm -mm. I feel it's like nothing. you ain't met one yet. That's why you feel that I way. Lying. You only 24, though. You got no a lot more solid, life to bro. live. Ain't no girl solid. That's not true. We let gonna me, try let me tell you, you know, we gonna chat again when you 34. Huh? You cheated on a nigga before? Hell yeah, and right, I do it again. Solid. You cheated on a nigga before? You're maybe. not solid. You cheated but on a nigga? Maybe. 
You never cheated Queen. on me. How many boyfriends you had? Period. <laughs> You're not solid. How you love that many niggas? <laughs> No, no, but no, no, you but love that many okay. niggas. But let me tell you why. How, how many niggas you saw you love them to? At least three, four. At least, yeah. That's why are you mean. loving that many niggas? How many times you been in love? But if you not get out of a relationship and you get in love, we in our 30s, it's different. I ain't shit neither, but I know y'all ain't shit. <laughs> Dang, I thought I was You good. ain't shit, ain't nobody. Ain't shit. Okay, but let me say this. Okay, let me say this, though. I'm not making an excuse for why I cheated or what I did, but let me tell you something. When I can only speak for myself, because I've said this before, in my relationship, I was telling him what I needed, what I wanted, and he wasn't meeting that. I had checked out emotionally, and then I had checked out physically. I wasn't being satisfied, but I'm still trying to hold it down. A bitch got horny. It was late night. I, I think I had to let it go. See, I cheated when I was like 19. Mm. And I haven't cheated since then. Queen. Ooh. A cheater. I'm a cheat. Saying, but you're a serial cheater. I don't cheat no more. Because you don't have a man. I did. I had a man this whole damn year. And I'm I ain't cheated. gonna drink my drink. Cheating is crazy. Hey, you ain't never cheated? <laughs> no, I'm saying cheating is crazy. Did you have you cheated before? <laughs> nope. <laughs> 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 nope. He seemed, he seemed like the type to let you think y'all in a relationship and then he cheat and he be like, we ain't we, even we, together. You ain't even my girl. You ain't, <laughs> Have you ever told somebody that? You ain't even my girl. Nope. <laughs> Why would you start smiling like Because he like it. Because <laughs> he like it. <laughs> y'all go to my website musebeautycollection.com and get your limited edition Dre and Nicole t-shirts. This is one of the shirts and then Lex had on the other shirt in their limited edition y'all. So once they sell out, they gone. www.musebeautycollection.com. Get your t-shirts, get your lip gloss, period. Okay, we gonna now move on it's time to, to get, get into the bed. Bow. The bed. Bow. The bed. Bow. 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 The bed. The bed. Yeah, the B E D. I know you want to be in my B E D. You heard us right. That's you heard it right. So, the bed, we have a sex topic. We're yeah. not gonna get too explicit, okay? Yeah. yeah. Mr. 49. Okay, so today, we wanna talk about as a rapper, are you romantic in the bedroom? Now you've already said, you know, you are you're in a relationship. Yeah. But do you feel like if you weren't in a relationship, we're going to speak hypothetically. Hype this is all hypothetically. All hypothetical. So, if you as a rapper cuz I feel like every time when you hear a rapper rapping, he talking about beat beat beat. I'm gonna beat it up. I'm gonna skeet it up. I'm gonna throw your ass on the couch. Yeah, put it in my mouth. Yeah. But like Sometimes we want to... <laughs> yeah, I already know. We want to be like... That's nice. Love is to be made sometimes. But do you feel like if you were like single and you were like sleeping with women, you know, being a single man, are you going to be just beating it up? Are you going to make love sometimes? I'm a love maker. I, I know can't. that's right. I ain't tripping. I, you know what? You are a lover boy. What? what is, what's your sign? Pisces. Oh, that makes oh, sense. Oh, Lord, have you mercy. You're definitely a lover boy. He is a, a lover boy. boy. Yeah, I can see that. I think I'm a lover boy. Yeah. Nah, 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 no, 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 lover boy, like, simp nigga, like. No, 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 no. We just mean, like, you probably are in tune with your emotions. Yeah, I am. I know yeah. how to express it. Like, when you I know really how to like somebody, it. you be turning on that Drake. Yes, I'm hurting. Yes, I'm jaded. You be singing to your bitches behind closed doors. Hell no. Nah. Yes, you yeah. do. <laughs> you just sure. said, I made this song for you, girl. And press you play be writing you songs say, for your girl. You be writing songs for your girl. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you do. Yeah, you do. <laughs> this girl's funny as hell, bro. Hypothetically. Hypothetically, have you ever wrote a song for a girl? Hell yeah. yeah. I know that's right. Mm. So that's beautiful. So, but do you feel like you? I have... wrote a song for, but I be talking about it in it. Like, like I ain't writing a song for you though. Like, yeah. Not nah, like. 
I, I'm a, I'm gonna be talking about Jenna's song like like, but I ain't. This just ain't for you. Like it's for all type of people. Yeah. Okay. So it's like about her. Like she w- motivated it, but it can be like general for the general yeah, yeah. people. Okay, that makes sense. But do you feel like hypothetically, like if you were, you know, sleeping with somebody, do you feel like you have an image to uphold in the bedroom? Because you would have to worry about her saying something or this and X, Y, Z. I don't care. I'm a regular nigga, man. Yeah. What you going to do? Uh, like, niggas do this all day. Like, yeah. You don't get hard one day. Like, like, it ain't meant. Like, mm. it ain't I really me. don't care. Like, you don't care? I so don't you don't care, care if somebody be like, oh my gosh, that shit was trash. Nope. Don't See, care. that's the problem. I ain't got too many of them. I know. I know. Disclaimer. I know that's right. <laughs> I know yeah. that's right. So you right. say you be making love. So what do you think? Like, what is making love to you? What's the difference between making love, making and, love just and just having <laughs> sex? Or yeet, yeet, yeah, you eating. <laughs> Let me see. Just like. <laughs> what? What? I don't know. Like, yeet, yeet is you gonna crazy. Know. <laughs> you going to know. Like, you going to know when it's that you vibe and it's you not eat, like. Eat. You, be, you know how to, you be slow stroking like this? Nah, that's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Nah, I'll do all that shit. Okay, okay. I don't know if you was in your pretty. <laughs> That's a real. Damn, you, you too straight. Okay, yeah. do you play music a little bit? You know, funny thought I used to play music, but now I like it. I like I don't like too much music now. Mm. I like to hear everything. Like, okay. You know what I'm saying? You want to hear that mac yeah, and look cheese? At this shit Not the mac and cheese. Yeah, you want that mac and cheese? I used to play music in high school and shit. I'm like. Like, man, this shit too loud and shit. Like, this shit really blowing me. Okay, I'm not so even thinking about what's what going kind of, on. What like, music did you play when you used to play music? I ain't lying, boy. My playlist was crazy. Yee-yee. I had The Weeknd on my shit. I know that. Frank Ocean was on my shit. Um, not Nova oh, Cat. Nice I had Nova Not Nova Cat. I, I had Black on my shit. Okay. Okay. I ain't lying. When I hear that Black, like them Black songs, that, that shit That first, you talking about from the first album? Man, what? Oh yeah. my God. Okay, you, you know a little one too. Bro? You know a little strong, strong. Nah, I ain't gonna lie. I, I had me a little playlist going on. I had, I had um, George Smith on one song. You was making okay. sweet, sweet love. I was going crazy. Oh, I mean, that's right. Do you yeah. be listening to old school R&B? Like, you know, yeah, Jodeci. Yeah. Nah, nah, nah. nah. Not, matter of fact, I be listening to shit like Anthony Hamilton. Like, Okay, okay. Like, not come on home, Charlene. <laughs> okay, do you ever listen to yourself? Because sometimes, okay, nah, Dre, I don't listen to myself. Dre, do you ever That's like so to weird. have a sex to like rap music and trap music? Like when y'all turn it up on some shit, though? Yeah. Man, I don't Fix. like having sex with trap music. Man, but, come on now. You got to get lit. Like, if y'all bro, that's drunk. That's some real freak shit, though. <laughs> it oh, is. damn. I feel attacked. I'm now, why no, I'm not I'll be seeing porn on Twitter, like, and they be listening to Charlie. I'll be like, brother, I, I, I just seen a couple people listening to me. Yeah, I know, that's right. I'll be looking like, man, really they don't even know like, I'm scared. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> You're tr- they're trying to get yeet- yeeted. I'm that's telling crazy, you. Nothing bro. is wrong with you that. You know the best sex, uh, the song I have sex to? Gucci Man, Stupid. I'm in the club, stupid. I'm going dumb, stupid. Because I be going, the booty be going stupid. Man. I hit it. Man. It be going yeah. dumb. I ain't lying, I'm going to try. I'm going to see what's Trap music, because I'm, yeah, she I'm right. I'm going to see what's the, the booty clap different. I ain't lying. It's nah, fine. I can't do that. Nah, that's just, nah, nah, nah. No, you got to do it with somebody saying, I'm a rapper, read. bro. I okay. know every nigga. Okay, what okay. I look like, hey, listen to YTB Fat, like, bro. <laughs> I know fat, bro. I'm, just, I'm not trying to hear fat, bro. Well, play yours. That's <laughs> you know what I'm saying. I'm not trying to hear music. dirt, bro. Play yours. I'm Both your eyes would go crazy in the bedroom. Yeah, it would. It would go crazy. I'm gonna see what's that. I'm gonna try. Yeah, I'm. I'm just saying. Mm-hmm. Just you know, what I'm I saying. Might, that might turn. That might turn my girl on. I'm telling you, she gonna like this. She gonna like it. I'm a rapper. She's mm-hmm. probably like, yeah. And then, and then when it start getting <laughs> real good, press pause and start freestyling. No, nah, you tripping. All right, now, now one thing about you, bitch, you always going to take shit I'm not going to lie. I far. press pause and I start freestyling right when you're in that mid-stroke. You hitting that shit, man, to feel good. <laughs> you got big dick. I call you Big Wood. I like it. Uh, my shit. My shit is straight soft. You're going to do it. You're about to go. You're tripping. 
<laughs> what if you was doing that shit and a nigga just pull his pants up and be like, all right, I'm going to head out. All right, I'm going to fuck with you. I'm going to lay this shit down. Because why would you that start nigga the is studio, me. Dre? And fuck he, this nigga. He said, that nigga is me. That nigga is me. <laughs> that shit was hot fire. Nah, if chilling. she start rapping, she going to kill the vibe. I'm <laughs> I'm going to tell all the brewers because they're rapping to me. I'm fucking weak. I feel like that's a story you got to tell your niggas. I was fucking these bitches. She started rapping. I know. I know. I know one girl probably. I I was in high school, right? I was I was sleeping in somebody's bed. Like I had I had a I had a girlfriend at the time. Like Mm. it was probably like one of my first girlfriends. Mm -hmm. And um, I remember I slept out this girl's house. I was asleep. I had a dream. I Googled, the, I Googled what this dream was about after the fact. <laughs> Man, I had a dream that rats was crawling on me. It's five rats? in the morning. Like, this, it's pitch black. Ain't nobody in the house five in the morning. Dog mm-hmm. house. I jumped up, butt naked in this girl's bed. Like, what? I keep screaming, what the <laughs> fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? Man, I'm what? gonna think about that shit to the day. Like, man, I know that girl thing. I'm crazy. Was you high or something? You had no, nothing. none of that, brother. That's because you wasn't where you were supposed to be. Brother, I swear That was to your God, conscience. I Googled and I'm like, what does rats crawling on you in your sleep mean? It what said, did it you mean? been infidelity, infidelity, some shit. It like, said that? Bro, I'm about to Google it right now. Mm, not you was a rat. So that mean that she was being unfaithful or you? No, he said he had a girlfriend at the time. Oh, he had a girlfriend. Mm-hmm. Well, That's now we fine. just called him in a lie. Y'all remember what he just said 10 minutes ago? He was faithful. Mm. He said it. He said this one of my he said first, he don't be my first girlfriends. He was like he was he was he was a young little tot, so we'll let That's it pass. Right. We'll let it pass. I'm that person, though. If I have a dream that's too realistic, I always Google my dreams. Oh, I do, too. I'm like, I'm going to Google I need Google. to know what shit mean. Like, why would I dream about Because this? it's something that's on your mind. Yeah. It's so weird how the brain interprets things. It Man, always gets weird. I know it's so crazy. I'm being mad at now. Because even if you think about stuff, I don't, I don't know shit. about you, but sometimes when I think about things before I go to sleep, I dream about it. Yeah, for sure. Immediately after. That's why I was dreaming about you know what the other day. You know who I've been? I can't say it because he watches the show, but it was so awkward. It was. Because it's somebody that we work with. It's somebody we know and we be around and she had a dream about him. No, no, nobody in here. Not Craig. Look, y'all, don't worry. (laughs) Awan, Thad, Craig, y'all are safe, okay? (laughs) But it was awkward because I'm like, oh my God. (laughs) I want to know what the dream was. She's going to tell you off camera. I'll tell you off camera. I'll tell you off camera. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, XP. And it's your girl, Dre Nicole. And y'all know it's that time. It's holiday season. And one thing about me, I really love gifts that are thought out and unique to me and what I like. Same. Like, I don't want you to give me nothing that somebody else can get mm-hmm. or too many other people going to have. So that's what I love about Uncommon Goods because it's made by artists mm-hmm. and a lot of the stuff is made in small batches. Yes. So you got to get it quick. Yes, yes. Because Un- it's exclusive. It's exclusive. Uncommongoods.com mm-hmm. supports, you know, like you said, small artists, small businesses. Mm-hmm. So one thing I love about that is that you're getting something unique. They have experiences. So if you want to do like a tarot card reading, a cooking class, Whatever you want. Mixology. Mixology. Oh, ooh, I like that. Learn mm-hmm. to make a little drink. Mm-hmm. Hold on. I'm be looking like Ty next time. You right. feel me? Okay. So what you're going to do is go to uncommongoods.com backslash poor minds. That's uncommongoods.com backslash poor minds and get 15% off of your purchase. Okay. So now it's time to, to get, get into, into the bow. Bow. The bow. Bow. The bow. 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 Okay, so Bop of the Week is basically what we've been jamming this week, what we've been listening to. <laughs> so y'all know I love a good Afrobeat song. And it's crazy because I think I made this song my Bop of the Week months ago. So Gunna obviously is on tour right now, and he actually remixed this song. He went on stage and he performed this year, Blessing by, I think his name is Victor Thompson. Mm-hmm. I think that's his name. I hope I didn't get real. But anyways, so... Gunna has been performing like a live version of it and he ate that shit up. Mm -hmm. And I feel like, you know, he kind of revived the song because it's an amazing song. It's about just manifesting the life that you want Mm -hmm. and like how you're doing everything you want like this year. It's a really dope song. I think I made this my pop of the week. Yeah, Yeah, it's a good fucking song. And I like the way Gunna was performing it. It was, it's really dope. So yeah, that's my bop of the week this week. I gotta go listen to that shit. It's it's it's, it's, a, it's a good song. I think you yeah. like it. A What's little vibe, a little vibe. Huh? What's your bump of the week? 
Mine is it's a party by Lotto. Okay. And Baby Drew. I like it. I like that song. Yeah, it's, it's fire. Just, I'm just all about like turn up little music. That mm -hmm. I, I love music when girls come out with music that you can just get ready to and, and vibe to and get cute to when you about to go out and have a good time with your friends or go out on a date. Right, and right. I just feel like it's a cute little song. It is cute. Did we make Lola Brooke our bop of the week yet? Oh my God, Lola Brooke and Bryson Tiller. Fire. That's yep. a good song too. Y'all looked at the video? I, I haven't, haven't watched seen the video. video. Yeah. I'm in it. You, you in the video? What you was doing? I'm, you was... I'm her boyfriend in the video. I'm oh the... my god! Are you for real? Or are you lying? No, I believe him. He's telling the truth. That that but song. But that's ironic because we both was just talking about that song yesterday. We were saying how much bro, we love it. You know what's funny, brother? I told her. I said, bro, you got a fucking hit, bro. This is yeah. No, oh, yeah, it's, it's fire. It's a it's a really yeah. really good song. Let's see. Yeah, don't turn the sound on. We gonna get flagged now. Nah. Yeah. What you was in there doing? You was getting your sexy on. You had your shirt off. Let me see. Damn, what she posted something like that? Thank you, girl. Can I get one too, Ty? Okay, so while you look for that, what's, what, what you been doing? What's jamming? your vibe, yeah. What's your vibe? What you? um, that's what I was looking for. Let me see. Man, man, this week I've been listening to Friday. Oh, my God. That was my bop of the week last week. Mm -hmm. That album is amazing. Doing it, oh my God, his voice is so unique. Mm -hmm. He's one of those people you're never gonna get his voice confused with anybody else. Yeah. His pen game, stupid. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, I didn't even realize how young he was. He's really oh, young. Yeah. I think y'all okay. are the same age. Yeah. Like he's. Watch the video. That's your heart. I'm gonna go watch it. Wait, I want to see. I want to see. Nice picture. You were trying to be sexy. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> That's. Yeah. I know. He said. She funny as hell. You, got shit on. you was posing for real. Do it. Do it for him. I'm doing it right now. Period. This, I, was, I wasn't <laughs> He's posing. It's just me. I was just chilling. I know that's right. She funny as hell. Shout out to Crazy. Lola Brooke, uh, Bryson Tiller. That's that's about that's a good song. And shout out to Friday. And shout out to Friday because that album, that EP, is super super duper hard. Yes. So now it's time to get into our favorite segment of the show, which mm -hmm. is pour your heart out. Y'all know if y'all have any questions, y'all can always send them to askpoorminds at gmail .com. That's A S K. P-O-U-R-M-I-N-D-S at gmail.com. Now, y'all, I had stopped saying this for a while, but now I feel like I need to start saying it again. Please keep the questions brief. Keep them brief as short, possible. Because y'all been writing whole novels lately. And it's cool, but it's it's not, though. Like, keep it short. <laughs> keep it cute. And if so, you're a Patreon member, make sure you put that in the subject because you get to skip the line. So make sure y'all sign up for our right. Patreon at patreon.com backslash poor minds. Um, mm -hmm. I have a question. One, you want me to go first? Yeah, go first. Okay. All right. So it says see that question kind of long. Show it to me. Yeah, y'all gotta stop like this. A, a, Three sentences max. Okay. All right. Hi, ladies. My boyfriend and I of three years, known each other for seven, recently broke up. It wasn't a messy breakup. We broke up amicably. He said that he knew the next stage of our lives was marriage and he wasn't ready for that commitment yet. This has broken me into pieces. I was with him when he had nothing, you know, having almost everything he's dreamed of. He works in the entertainment industry and is always around cons constant temptation. Mm -hmm. I asked him if he would still feel the same if he had worked a different job, and he replied no. He said that he wants to heal himself and become the man that I need him to be, and he doesn't want to hurt me through the process. Mind you, we met in our teens and became a couple in our early adulthood years. I respond by telling him that I'm not waiting for him to get it right, then blocked him on everything. Do you believe in the right person, wrong timing, or should I not even hold my breath? I don't know how to move forward, and I cry every day. Do you ladies have any advice for me? You could actually answer this question. I, I feel know, like that nigga going to come back. It's just chill, brother. Don't cheat. Don't do that. Don't, oh don't my, have sex with So he can go out here. He can fucking hoes. Listen. Because that ain't cheating if they broke up. You, you won't be with this bum ass nigga that you about to go fuck for the rest of your life? How you know he a bum? If he ain't a bum. That could be her be real husband. Him? You won't be with him? Maybe. I ain't go fuck him then. All right, I will. If you want me back. You ain't going to know. I'm going to find out. No, you not. I'll be like this. I, baby, I missed you. Man, girls slip <laughs> baby. up. Baby. Girls slip up. I don't ever slip. You ain't never going to catch. You mean like slip up and tell? And slip up and, 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 and get caught. Mm -mm. I'm too... You can't get caught if you single, though. They broke up. Like I said, if it was me. that's that's We got to do that. If it was me. If I, so if I tell you, think... all right, and four or five months, 
Like, I'd be like, and I, man, that shit. So, working in the entertainment like, industry, because she said he works in the entertainment industry and he's always around constant temptation. Mm-hmm. Do you think basically he's leaving because he kind of want to get his whole phase out? I ain't lying. I'm going to keep it 100. Like, they, they ain't been a good long enough. Like, because, like, if he if he in the entertainment industry, I don't know no nigga lit right now who came up as fast as me. Mm-hmm. So that mean like he been in this shit. Mm-hmm. So you start yeah. going with him when he was in this shit, like. But it could be somebody who's like a behind the yeah, scenes it could be person. Yeah, behind the scenes person, like a producer. Or like, you know what I'm saying? He don't necessarily got to be there in front of the camera. Ain't no girl trying to just go fuck on a producer. Like he ain't got no producer. Ain't got no temptation. Nah, he right though. <laughs> like, come on. Like, Y'all he, say that, but in a, girls, if you say, I can say this. I can say this as a woman. I know raw for now. I'm finna get some pussy tonight. I'm a rapper though. It, but okay, I can say if oh, you saying like producers, like, like if I was like, oh, I produce a raw four nine record, and I wasn't, I didn't have a podcast. I'm gonna get pussy off of I'm your producer. Nah, you right, you right, you right. That's what I'm saying. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I don't know. I, I think that they producers started going together after he reason. after he was lit already. Who? I, if they start, I think they start going together after he was lit already. Mm-hmm. And can't no girl get with me while I'm lit and think I ain't about to leave her. Like you know what I'm saying. Damn. So I, I they had to catch you when you was down bad? Gotta catch me. <laughs> <gasps> Damn. Why? That's some real, hey, that's so real shit, though. That's some real shit, though. That's some real well, shit, though. That's some real shit, though. What I look though. like, like, really, all the chicks who really love me for me coming up, like, what I look like. But what if she already, what if she got more than you? Like, what if you meet a woman? I don't woman? even care about that. Like, I'm still going to, like, do what I need to do. Like, I don't care about, about all that. I'm, I'm, like I said, I'm the type of nigga. Like I'm just, I don't know. I ain't like other people. Like mm-hmm. if, Your if I fuck with you, I fuck with you. Like right. I don't think I will ever fuck with a chick who I met from here on out. Like yeah. I mean that's fair though. That's real. That's though. fair. That's fair. Because I feel like the, that that makes you a little different. Because I feel like a lot of niggas like they want the girls that they meet when they get on because mm-hmm. they feel like they couldn't get them. Their before. type changes. Stupid, nigga. They're yeah. the type of woman that they date changes. Yeah. That's the niggas who are going to be broken. And it be women 30, who man. never paid attention to them before they became who they nah, were. For sure. You, you actually smart low key. You are. He is. I'll give sure. you, you did your, you ate that one little thing. You <laughs> ate that one little thing. Go ahead, Dre. Okay. Question number two. So this is not really a question, but they just said, hey, ladies, I don't want advice, LOL. I absolutely love you guys. And my best friend and I always say how listening to your show reminds us of us. Anyway, we want to know if the show on October 29th in D.C. can be Halloween themed because it's so close to it. Plus, it's a reason to dress up. That's all. Love, Drea and Kenny. That's hot. Okay, so it's so funny because we literally just talked about this. The show on October 29th is going to be a themed Halloween live show. So y'all definitely need to come dressed up with y'all best little Halloween outfits. I think we might even do a contest. Maybe we should. We should do a contest. So like whoever has the best costume. By the time this episode drops, is it going to be already passed? Yeah, we're going to probably drop this like next week or the week after. Okay. Yeah. So, we probably going to do a contest. So, definitely come with y'all best costumes. Put that shit on. And we're going to have a good time. Yeah, it's going to be a ball. Yeah. I'm excited. Mm-hmm. I'm excited for my costume. So, thank costume. you, girl. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, One more thing. Do we have a voicemail today, Thad? If you want to leave a voicemail on the show, y'all, this is not for advice. This is just to get things off your chest. Express whatever you feel in. X, Y, Z. Number at the bottom of the screen. Try to leave it at 30 seconds, please. Okay. Uh, The shot line for this week. Go ahead, Thad. Hi, Lex. And hi, Andrea. I'm from New Orleans, Louisiana. So if you hear a little bit of my accent, I apologize. Um, I just want to start off by saying I'm so excited for the New Orleans show. I already have my ticket, and this is going to be my first. That's hard. Uh, that's for she coming to the New Orleans show. New Orleans show, yeah. You hey, I, you gonna come to the New Orleans show? No, I'm confused. Run this to me. Uh, so we're on tour right now. Yeah. yeah. We got a show in New Orleans at House of Blues. When? Uh, when is the date? <laughs> November fourth. Yeah, it's November coming 4th? up. Yeah. Yes. Now let me tell you something about our live shows. Going. If you don't, it's okay. If you got something going on, we. But listen. you in Houston too. You be in Houston too. Our show in Houston is when November the twenty fifth. November twenty fifth. So if you I can make lie, either one of you, those, I really want to come see y'all do y'all shit. Yes, come on. No, like, we having a good time. Let me tell you, if I'm not down there, I'm gonna get y'all a red carpet. It's fun. I'm, I promise. You, it's gonna be lit. Okay, so last year at our Houston show, we had like Lil Kiki perform, Ken the Man perform, 
yeah. Slim Thug pulled up. Like, our live shows be, like, a thing. Like, yeah. it's so fucking fun. You would That's actually hard. have a ball. That's like, hard. Y'all got to yeah. send me y'all shit so I can post it. Of, of course. Yeah, sure. Okay, so let everybody know what you drop, what you got coming out, where they can find you, all that good stuff. Find me on our platform, Rifle 9. Um, I just dropped a song named Call My Ma. Um, you probably like it. Y'all I know. I, we already... We, <laughs> Jamming that hole. Like Hell yeah. yeah. Real nigga, real nigga. <laughs> and, um, I got a song called Baby. I'm um, dropping soon. So, yeah. That's it. All right. Okay. Well, thank you for Can coming through. Can you tell through. me on Instagram and stuff? Rock yeah, I had told him at the, at the Okay. Yeah, what what, what does a 4 9 stand for? That's a project I'm from. I have a project, the 4 Wall. This is oh. a project, 9 Wall. Because okay. I was like, damn, I, I thought it meant, because I'm from the 409. And I, what okay. is that? Orange exactly. tech. <laughs> golden Triangle. You know Pimp C, he's from Port Arthur. Port Pimp, Arthur, yeah. He's from Port Arthur, so it's the but Golden Triangle. from Orange. So he's and from it, Texas. Yeah, so it's the Golden Triangle. It's Texas Beaumont. got some of the best women in the world. Period. They do. Period. Hello. I'm in love with Texas. I ain't gonna I'm care. telling you, it's lit. So it's Beaumont, Port Arthur, and Orange. That's the Golden Triangle, but it's the 409. That's right there by like, by Lit- us for real. No, literally, my, my house, I can oh, walk yeah. to Louise. I, I'm Vinton. I'm like right there. Like all my family's in Vinton. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. How you be throwing it up? Throw it up. <laughs> I remember I remember like driving to through Beaumont and stuff like Yeah. If you drive to Houston and New Orleans, you have to hit orange. You have so to go. They, yeah. they call it the last taste of Texas. Yeah. Literally, that's what they call it. It's, yeah. mm-hmm. it's a little history lesson for y'all. All right. <laughs> Y'all know we got to get a little, to a little karaoke. Make sure y'all go to musebeautycollection.com. Get your Period. lip glosses. Poorminds.com. Get your merch. And your tickets for the live tour. Yes. We're going to Chicago. Next we'll be in Chicago very soon. Yes. Detroit, That's D.C. That's hard. Uh, Philly. Philly. Uh, Houston, Houston, Dallas. Dallas. And y'all know we closing it out with Atlanta. So yeah. we love y'all. Thank y'all for tuning in. We'll see y'all next week. Thank you. That's hard, man. Bye, y'all. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Lex T. And it's your girl, Dre and Nicole. And I got some really good news for y'all. Yes, period, y'all. We are about to revamp our whole Patreon. Yes. We got so much new shit coming soon for y'all. Like, we about to be doing challenges. We about to be doing vlogs. Mm-hmm. We really about to be dropping a lot of exclusive content for y'all. So if one episode a week is not enough, y'all about to get some more content on Patreon. Yes, y'all be saying, oh, make the episodes longer. I need twice a week. Well, this is your opportunity to see us twice a week. And also, you kind of get, you're going to get a look into our lives mm-hmm. and know what's on a personal level. Mm-hmm. So make sure y'all sign up at patreon.com backslash poor mind. Sign up today. There's different tiers. So if you want audio only, you can just listen. If you want video and audio, we have that too. And also, we have a top, top tier where you get exclusive access to merch, shows, all that good mm-hmm. stuff. So go to patreon.com backslash poor minds and sign up today. Yeah. Yeah, y'all know what it is, man. Yeah. Big 4 9. You know what I'm saying? Raw 4 9 and the Vulture Rex. Yeah. <laughs> Period. There's money taking over right yeah. now. Yeah. Nine, two, Girl, Girl, you working, working with some ass, ass yeah. You bad, yeah. yeah. Making niggas, niggas with his cash, yeah. yeah. His last yeah. year. Hoes ride with your past, yeah. yeah. They mad, yeah. yeah. You gon' ride in the jacket. Yeah. I'm a big oh, time nigga, yeah. Oh, money flipper, yeah. Hold on. Hold on. Rent, dude. Rent, dude. Now nobody's singing the song. Now you look good once you Back that ass up. Oh, wait, we too early. Yeah. The the long, yeah. On the hard, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. A nigga do a trick, yeah. On the dick, yeah. You claiming you want a bitch, yeah. It ain't shit, yeah. yeah. The nigga with the money, don't they funny, yeah. Got the birds and I'm running, yeah. yeah. About a yeah. hundred, yeah. yeah. What's your bank that ass up? What's your bank that ass up? Call me big daddy, what's your bank that ass up? Girl, who's you playing with? And when you bank that ass up, I'm finna clean all this money up. Period. Yeah. 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 Yeah.